Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing with you my August favorites. August was a really good month for me. There was a lot of change involved. I moved to a different place, which I talked about in my vanity tour. And I also have some other really big changes coming up in my life. So I'll share those with you guys whenever the time is right. For now, I just wanna share with you some products and I have a couple of makeup things, but I do have some other sort of like fashion and candle favorites to share with you. So just stay tuned if you wanna see those. With the moving and the light makeup that I was wearing, there was a BB cream that I was going to pretty much every day in the month of August, and that is the Herborean BB cream. I showed this in my like trying on new makeup, get ready with me video. I'll link it up in the cards for you guys if you wanna check it out. This is such an awesome BB cream. You can get it at Sephora. I think it's around 39, like $40. It says it's a five in one baby skin effect makeup care face cream. This is kind of what the BB cream looks like. So it just kind of looks and feels like a tinted moisturizer, but it has a really decent coverage to be honest. It's a really good color match for me. It only comes in two colors, which is one downfall about this beauty cream. I have the shade Dore or Dore, I'm not sure how to say it. It claims to even out and mattify the complexion, which it definitely does. It says it reduces the appearance of blemishes, yes. Refined skin's texture, I mean, it definitely kind of erases your pores, moisturizes and plumps the skin. It gives a non-oily, velvety finish which is completely true. I highly recommend checking this stuff out. I have been watching this guy on YouTube who I really love, Jordan Liberty. I'm watching one of his videos because he gives amazing tips on makeup. He was talking about concealer and how your under eye concealer and like even concealer for your blemishes, a lot of people use concealer shades that are lighter than their skin tone, but he said if you actually use like one shade darker, it's more flattering both for under eye circles and for blemishes. And I've had this concealer kicking around um, in my vanity for a while. I actually have a couple different shades of this. It's the MAC Pro Longwear. And I have NC25 and NW25. And for whatever reason, NC25 is much, much lighter and it's yellow. And NW25 is much darker for whatever reason than NC25. So NW25, because it's a lot darker, I really haven't been using it because I'm thinking like, it's too dark to put under my eyes. So after I heard his tip, I was like, well, this is darker than my skin and it has like a pinkish undertone. So this will be perfect for my under eyes. And it definitely is. I am wearing this today on my under eyes. I think it looks really good. There's hardly any creasing going on. I naturally have like a crease that happens in my under eye area, but in terms of like the makeup creasing, it's holding up really well. I've been wearing this makeup now for probably at least four hours. One thing about the matte concealer is that it pumps out so much, but hey, it's cool that it has a pump. On camera, it doesn't look dark at all, but in person, I'm telling you, it looks just a little bit more like dark and pink that I would typically go for in my concealer. But I'm wearing this today, like I said, both on my under eyes and my blemishes, and I've been doing that throughout the month. The coverage on this concealer is amazing. It sets nicely, wears really well. It lasts a long time throughout the day. I just have no complaints about this concealer and I'm so glad that I kind of like dug it back out and started using it. That's just kind of a cool makeup tip. So that's kind of a favorite channel that I've been watching recently. And then that was a cool tip that he gave. And this is the concealer that I've been using all month to do that. I'm still like super into highlighters. I feel like who isn't right now? Lately, I've been reaching for a cream highlighter. I feel like this has been talked about a lot on YouTube, but I was sent this through Influencer about a month ago. It's the Marc Jacobs, and this is the Spotlight Glow Stick Glistening Illuminator. So I love the packaging. I think the packaging is like really cool and innovative. It looks like what a lot of people have been describing. It looks like a deodorant stick. It's like a roll up highlighter stick and you get quite a good amount of product in there. It rolls up to there. I'm not wearing this right now, but I'm thinking about putting on a little bit just right now to show you. It's kind of like a light, like pale gold. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over my makeup to show you that it just blends out really nicely and easily. Even though it's a cream, it almost like feels like a powder. And look at that glow that it gives. I mean, compared to over here, and the shape of it makes it really easy to place it right there, like on the high point of your cheekbone. The lights are probably making it look a little bit more intense than it would in 
like natural lighting, but this is a beautiful highlighter. I think this would be great to even use on the body as well if you're like, you know, wearing a strappy top or going out. You can like put it on your collarbone or on your shoulders and get a little bit of glow there. It just blends out so seamlessly, which is what I love about it. And I love that I can put it over my makeup, like over my powder and everything, and it doesn't ruin anything. It doesn't make anything look cakey. It just looks perfect. For bronzing my face this month, I have been going to the same bronzer pretty much every day, which is why I'm choosing to throw it in this favorites video. And it's the Girlactic Beauty Cabo Matte Bronzer. First of all, how cute and girly is this packaging? It's so pretty. I love the design. And I actually got this at Walgreens. There's a Walgreens in Houston that is like really upgraded in their beauty section. Apparently there's only like four or five Walgreens in the country that have their beauty section like that. It's called the Look Boutique, so they sell Girlactic in there. You can tell I already have kind of like a little bit of a dent going on in the middle. It's just a really nice matte bronzer. The formula is amazing. It's right here. So it's actually a very light color. If you're if you're fair skin, you can definitely use Cabo. You can barely see it on camera at all because the lights are washing it out so much, but I'm gonna try to build up a swatch for you. Here is where it is. So it's a very natural shade. I'm wearing this today. It has a fantastic formula and it has a really great color. It's a very like neutral brown, so it adds a little bit of warmth, but it doesn't make you look orange at all. It doesn't have any sort of like orange in it. It's just so smooth. It goes on the skin really nicely. It's not patchy at all. Girlactic is something that is pretty new to me, but this has been my favorite thing from them that I've tried so far. I also do love their matte liquid lipsticks. They have really, really beautiful colors. I'm going to share with you the lip combo that I'm wearing right now, and then I also wanna share with you a gloss that I've been enjoying wearing on top of it. So I can't take credit for this lip combo. I took this idea from another YouTuber that I've been loving recently called Lydia Elise Millen. I'm sure most of you are familiar with her channel, but if you're not, you should definitely check her out. The MAC Lip Liner in the Spice color. Um, I'm already wearing Spice right now, and then I'm already wearing the lipstick on top of it too. This is the lipstick in Honey Love, and this is a matte lipstick. It is a nude. It's kind of like a brownish, peachy kind of nude. I'm wearing it right now. This color does not look that good on me by itself, Honey Love. It looks like a really pretty, pretty color swatch. Maybe it's just too light just to wear for me by itself. So that's why wearing the lip liner like Spice is crucial because it's a lot darker. So when you mix the two together, it gives you a really nice look. So the combo is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's office appropriate. It's like day appropriate, night appropriate. Like you can wear this lip color with anything. The gloss that I've been loving to put on top of that is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline or Madeline. It's a really pretty color and the color it is, of it is quite similar to the color of that lip combo. So I've really been enjoying those three lip products. This has kind of been my go-to look even just for like work every day. Okay, so I kind of touched on these in my last like favorites video in my products I've been loving video, the Sunday Riley Martian Toner and UFO Oil. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on them because someone had left me a comment asking and when I made the original video, I had only been using these for like less than a week. So I wanted to give you an update and let you know that I absolutely love these products. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to talk about them too much because I showed them a lot more in depth in that products I'm loving video, which I'll make another card up here for that as well. These are both like a green when you put them on your hands. This one's like a bright green and I show you in that video what it actually looks like when you pump it out. But this is an amazing toner. I was watching a video from a Sephora Pro talking about using this as a primer and I think it's fantastic as a primer. I'm actually wearing it as a primer today. If you have oily skin and you live in like a humid climate, you can definitely use this as a primer. And then when you want just a little bit more hydration, but you want to keep your skin obviously looking matte and you want to control your oils, this is something to put on. So this is actually an oil that I'll use during the day or I'll use it at night sometimes as well. I'll just use one little drop, put it in kind of the areas where I need mattifying throughout the day. And I'm just gonna say that it works. I don't know what it is about that. I have not tried anything bad from Sunday Riley. I'm so obsessed with that brand. Okay, so now onto some of the non-beauty stuff. And the first thing I wanna show you is earrings that I'm wearing right now. And then I also have another pair in another color. They're very simple. They're just little stud earrings. They're by Kate Spade. I actually got mine in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I think they should still be available. So I got this pair, which is black with like a gold rim. And then these also have a gold rim. 
but these are like this beautiful and you can't even really tell on camera they just look kind of like a clear they actually have a beautiful iridescent shine to them so they shine like all these different colors really cool studs and i find that they just go with everything i just really love those studs and i've been wearing them all month so wanted to shout those out. I have been loving these sunglasses from Key Australia and I've actually had these for a couple of months but I don't think I've showed them on my channel. I've showed some other Key sunglasses and other sunglasses in the past on my channel but I've never shown these. They're the on the prowl. So these are awesome because they're huge and reflective so like if it's really early in the morning and you don't want anyone to see you. Now you can see my whole filming setup but yeah if it's early in the morning and you don't want anyone to see you you can just wear these and they're like huge and it's awesome but also they just have this like really light plastic there's no like notches or anything that are really gonna mess with your foundation so I think these look really cool I keep them in my car constantly they're my like go-to sunglasses when I just need a pair they're just the most comfortable and I just love wearing them so another little accessory that I want to mention is kind of random but I thought it would be kind of interesting to talk about. It is a wallet. This is my wallet. I got this also during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so this is fairly new to me. And the reason I want to talk about it is because of the style of it. I've actually been called out by people saying this is like a man wallet. It's like a true bifold wallet, and I've obviously taken all of my things out so you can't see my information, but normally I would keep my ID here and it's completely see-through, which is just really convenient if you're in a store like buying alcohol or something and they ask you for your ID, you can just flash that real quick. It's got your card slots and then in the back it has the area for cash. I just love this. I love how small it is. I love how convenient it is. It fits into all of my bags. I'm about to show you a bag that's kind of on the smaller size. The only thing that I can't really keep in here is change, but I'm okay with that. I've just been telling people to keep the change. Okay, so the purse that I've been carrying, I'm hoping it's still available somewhere online. I know that the, there's very similar styles that are still available, but I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It was a really, really good deal because it was actually a refurbished bag. So this is what it looks like, and this is the, I think it's the Rebecca Minkoff Love Crossbody. Because I got it at Nordstrom Rack and because it was refurbished, it didn't have like the original tags on it. But from like researching online, I'm pretty sure this is a Love Crossbody bag. But what I like about this is it kind of reminds me of like a Chanel bag, and I'm definitely not in a position to buy a Chanel bag right now, but I love the style of them. I actually got this for like $85 which I think the original price of this bag is maybe around like 250, maybe even more, maybe even 300. So I got an amazing, amazing deal on it. I love the color of it. It's kind of like a very light gray. It has a pocket here in the back. It's just like a magnetic closure. And I usually just slide my cell phone in there for easy access. And then the closure at the front is just like you twist this up to open it. And then it has a flap. It's got kind of like a chevron print on the inside. You have like a zip pocket here, and then you have a couple of little side pockets. So I absolutely love this. I feel like it's the perfect size. I can fit my wallet, my phone, my keys, you know, some lip stuff like a powder. I love the color of it. Very last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was just a couple of candles. I picked up a, a little candle set. I actually got this back also during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I'm talking to you about a lot of stuff that I got during that sale. I actually got this top during the Nordstrom anniversary sale too. It's from Cleone. I'll link this down below because this top is definitely a favorite too. But I got these candles in a the set. They actually came with one more. There was three of them stacked up. The other one's like a green color on the outside. I've had other candles from this company before. It's it's either Voluspa or Voluspa or something like that. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. This one is apple and blue clover. It smells like really floral and fresh and just really, really nice. And I love the packaging like how pretty is this too just to have sitting out in your house the other one is called yuzu rose stone crop they're all kind of like floral hence the floral patterns on them but they're just very fresh and i love them and they're really good quality and the smell like they smell nice just not too strong or sickly i do want to say that i got new lighting and that's definitely a favorite give me a thumbs up if you've noticed that it's changed i hope you guys had a fantastic month of august and hopefully september is going to be amazing like i said i've got a lot of big changes coming up which I will share with you in the future. But for now, I'm gonna leave you guys there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.